Murder in the streets, in an alleyway just off Broadway. Holy hell. The trauma of witnessing my uncles back in Texas all came back to me. The men and the killings. My supposed inheritance, this. This horrified me. Eamon Mays, they flaunted it. The body twisting and left contorted on the ground. And it could not move. And I got that sickness inside. No dope sickness would match. Aim came and pulled me away from the scene of the crime. Horrid. So horrid. And she had that same light in her eyes. The savagery. The deep Atlantic blues I had run away from before. And so, again, on that night, as anyone would, parting ways with my so-called friend, Aim and my so-called friend's boyfriend, Mays, a killer too. I cannot say I wasn't warned. I couldn't manage a repeat of the past. I got away, they didn't try to stop me, and walked the streets north to Berkeley and hid in the hills, falling asleep under a redwood. And when I woke, I wanted to die. Not because of what happened out there, but what was happening, you know, on my insides. Same old story. And I remembered having met Black, and I knew where to find him. I didn't dare go back to that motel.